Alright, so let's check the new hangout. Yep. Close some of my here. Okay. Uh, Ever Sun Stars. Oh, oh, right here. Oh no. Okay. I'm not sure, what's her previous mission a hangout? No, no, it wasn't. Oh, no, 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 yes, it was a hangout. It was during the event with the fungus stuff. To visit very really weirdly, what's going on? Seem a bit tired. Yeah, it's been days since I've had a good night's sleep. I was originally looking up some information at the house of Dana, but the more I read, the more I realized that my thesis is horribly lacking. Oh, all oh, this stress? While being long tortured by her own anxious thoughts, Layla's stress value shows her current main state. Uh, this value will fluctuate as the story progresses. Appraise the situation carefully before making your choice. Oh, so this I should have been that. done with the first draft of my thesis by now, but I've barely written a third. Hmm. Okay, so what are you planning to do now? Well... Uh, I guess I have to keep looking up as much info as possible. I shouldn't give up now. But who am I kidding? Maybe I'm not cut out to be a researcher. Maybe I shouldn't have come to the academia in the first place. All I've done is cause trouble for my advisor and classmates. Ah. Uh, I should probably notify my advisor sooner than later, so he can focus his attention on the other students. Uh, uh, no, I don't even have the guts to bring it up, and I haven't completely given up yet. You still have time, right? Your up things probably aren't as bad as you think they are. To be honest, I haven't slept a wink for days. <sighs> Just thinking about the awful state of my thesis keeps me up at night. Lack of sleep hinders my ability to focus, and if I can't focus, I can't do any proper research or thinking. Oh, I'm stuck in a vicious cycle. I've seen the caliber of the other academia students. They're all geniuses and fast learners. I'm nowhere near as gifted as they are. Oh, if it wasn't for someone who's been helping me out, my advisor probably would have kicked me out of the Darshan by now. Hmm, are they the, the great fungus elder? Is this someone a good friend of yours? Are they a sage? If that was the case, I would have already left on my own. Mm, just the idea of being watched by a sage is terrifying. Ah, oh, this might sound strange, but I actually don't know who's been helping me. I don't even know if they're a person or not. Ooh, due to my lack of sleep, I sometimes get dizzy and faint when I'm stressed out. It's that bad, huh? Yeah, but oddly enough, when I wake up, all the things I was stressing over are taken care of. Uh, my homework somehow finished before the deadline, and 
My papers are perfectly written. But that's not all. My flowers are watered, laundry's done, even my broken camera was fixed. I really don't know what's going on, but for now, I'm calling the phenomenon a blessing from the stars. Maybe the stars above decided to help out after seeing all the effort I put into my research. <laughs> if that's even possible. That sounds pretty extraordinary. Oh, of course, like that. Pretty stressful. <sighs> but there's no point in me studying at the academia if I keep relying on this mysterious phenomenon. It comes down to my own efforts, improving one step at a time. Uh, how else can I honor my parents and live up to the expectations of everyone who knows me? That makes sense. The effort of putting is equally important. Oh no, I've already spent too much time chatting. Oh, I still haven't made much headway on my thesis. At this rate, I'll need the Wisdom Sealy's help. You just said you wanted to rely on your own efforts? Yes, but time's of the essence, so I have to take what I can get. Oh, sorry, I'm just making excuses. But the Wisdom Sealy is truly amazing and freely shares its endless knowledge. If you want its help, all you have to do is write down your question and you'll get a response a short while later. Can Celius even do something like that? Maybe it's some researcher who wants to remain anonymous. Hang on, I think my, my mic is dying. Better, yeah. Uh, can you even do something like that? Uh, no one knows who or what it actually is. It's just known as the Wisdom Sealy. But getting an answer all comes down to the Sealy's mood. Sometimes it'll only give you a vague answer or play tricks on you. I'm pretty sure a researcher wouldn't do something like that. Uh, all I can do right now is hope that it helps me. But what about the blessing from the stars? Uh, who knows if it'll happen this time. I can't put all my eggs in one basket. Trying my luck with another phenomenon is uh, better than doing nothing. Uh, it sounds a little sketchy, but I'll go check it out with you. It's too risky to rely on some fishy legend to complete your thesis. Sketchy. Oh, really? But I don't want to take up your time. It's fine, I don't have anything going on. I'm worried that you'll pass out from exhaustion, so... Uh, tell me where I heard more. Sorry for the bother. You're too kind. Okay. Let's go give it a try. I've already prepared my question for the Sealy. Oh, I just hope it can help me get through this predicament. Among the countless legends surrounding the House of Dana, the Wisdom Sealy is one of the more popular ones lately. It hasn't been around for long, but word of the Sealy's existence spread like wildfire. Many people have claimed that they've received a reply from it. So, it should probably help me as well, right? Uh, so to just call its name may appear, or is there some kind of summon ritual? Any funny antics in the House of Dana will get you escorted out, <laughs> or perhaps thrown out. Let's split up and ask around about the Sealy. Hopefully, someone knows something more.
Excuse me, uh, have you ever heard of the Wisdom Silly? <laughs> You've come to the right person. I came across this legend not too long ago myself. After hearing about it, I decided to test it out and ask it a question about the brightness of the stars. Two days later, I got a response. It included two pages of detailed and accurate information. It saved me from having to look up a ton of resources. Uh, really? Yeah, so I submitted another question a few days ago. I still haven't received a reply, though. That sounds like what others have said. But I don't have the time to wait for a reply if the silly doesn't answer right away. Uh, whatever. Uh, can you please tell me how to submit a question to the Wisdom silly? It's quite simple. Go to the bookshelf over there and find either Theoretical Astrology or a Quick Reference Guide to Astrology Cases. Oh, I know where those are. My Darshan has us use those two books quite often. Okay, so write your question in a letter addressed to the Wisdom Seely, and then insert the letter into one of the books. Come back in a day or two, and if you see a red stamp on your letter, that means the Wisdom Seely has replied. However, if the stamp never appears, then that means the Seely doesn't want to answer your question. I see. Thank you so much. I'm gonna go write down my question. Hopefully the Seely replies. No. Oh. There's no harm in trying. Now let's see if it's in the mood to answer your question. for the letter in the designated book. Oh, finally. I wrote out my question and put it in the book. What we do now? Uh, wait, I guess. Let's give it some time. I'll come back tomorrow to check on it. Uh, don't worry about me if you have other things to do. I'll come with you. I'm a little worried. I see. <laughs> Thanks. I appreciate it. All right, then. Let's meet up here tomorrow. I really hope the silly replies. Next day, you will return to the bookshelf. Time to look at the letter. Please let there be a stamp. Please let there be a stamp. Ah, uh, there's a red stamp on it. The silly responded. Fantastic! You look better ready, your eyes are sparkling. Ah, okay. This is wonderful. My troubles are at an end. Oh, I can't even begin to express how grateful I am. Uh, let's take a look at what it wrote. Ahem. Thank you for your letter. Though I have extended a response, uh, I cannot answer your query due to your questionable motives. What was uh, your question? Uh, questionable motives? Uh, me? Uh, uh, wait, huh? Okay, uh, let's see. Completing a thesis requires hmm. independent thought and work. You planned on using my knowledge to complete your paper's most critical portions. That's not right. However, considering that your deadline is fast approaching and that there is substance to the content in the completed sections of your thesis, I've decided to help you nonetheless. Follow the hints I've left and you will find the answer to your question. Consider the effort you put into thinking and searching as your payment for my knowledge. What the... It's absolutely right about everything. Oh, 
I'm starting to feel guilty now. I can't deny any of it. But I'm running out of time. Oh, what should I do? Uh, I'll search for the answers with you. It might be messing with you. Search for the answers. Huh? Uh, I could tell you're a very kind person, but I never expected that you'd go this far to help me. I'll definitely think of a way to make it up to you once I take care of my thesis. Don't worry about it, just another day in the lap of an adventure. Okay, let's start by looking at the hint it left us. It should be on the second page. The first clue lies hidden on the road of wisdom. The headstrong child finally sees the world for how big it truly is. Filled with awe, yet struck with fear. Uh, that's it? Uh, not even a picture or any other marking to go off of. Oh, this is pretty abstract. What's this road of wisdom and who's the child? Where is this part of French academia? Hmm, possibly. That sounds like a natural conclusion. So, is the road of wisdom the road that leads to the academia then? Wait, I think I get what it means by the child and awe and fear. When I first left home, it took me days to reach Sumeru City. Oh, I was completely shocked when I first saw it with my own eyes. It was so grand and awe-inspiring. Pictures of the city simply don't do it any justice. After seeing the city, a thought popped into my head. Am I really worthy of this place? And that's the fear. Worry, fear, or whatever you want to call it. Hmm. If I'm connecting the dots correctly, then... I think I know where the Sealy is leading us. But how does it know my feelings so well? Maybe it wasn't referring to you specifically. People who go to Summer City from elsewhere might often have similar feelings. Uh, you have a point. There's nothing special about my background or experiences. It could be anyone's. Uh, anyway, let's go take a look. Hmm. Wait, where is she from then? Uh, I, I didn't pay that much attention. That was when she first came to Sumer City, not necessarily when she first came to Sumer. She may still be from this country. Oh, we should be close. This is the way I came when I first traveled to Sumer mm. City. Oh, it's been way too long since I last visited home. Uh, no, no, this isn't the time for that kind of talk. Oh, we have to hurry and find the clues that the Sealy left behind. It's a pretty big area. Uh, it is. Relying solely on what the Sealy said might not be viable. Hmm. Assuming the Sealy is intentionally linking the clues to my past, uh, I think I have an idea. Let's hear it. Uh, um, so this is a little embarrassing. At that time, the sight of Sumeru City was absolutely mesmerizing. I was anxious, but also excited about all the things to come. I was distracted and accidentally stepped on an Avidia leopard's tail. The press of being distracted? I didn't notice it at all. 
Oh, the poor thing was sound asleep, and after I stepped on its tail, it bolted straight up. I freaked out and ran as fast as I could. There were actually more Avidia leopards sleeping nearby, and they were all faster than me. I almost got bitten a couple of times. Good thing someone from the Aramites heard me shouting for help. Uh, they managed to scare off the leopards. Good thing you weren't hurt. Yeah, they call but Rishbala tigers? when I finally managed to calm myself down, I noticed that the talisman my mother had made for me was missing. It's extremely precious to me. Ever since I was little, I would always carry it with me whenever I'm doing something important. I also had it with me when the Academia conducted its selection exam at my village. Oh, I checked my bag at least a dozen times to make sure the talisman was in there. I feel much more at ease knowing that I have it with me. I had thought that it would also help me calm my nerves in Sumeru City. But I ended up losing it before I even finished registration at the Academia. I can sympathize with your feeling of loss. Peace of mind it gave you must be your face. Yeah, and that's when I started having sleeping problems. Mm. Oh, I just began to sleep less and less each day. Losing a talisman like that is definitely a bad omen. <sighs> oh, sorry. I'm starting to ramble again. Uh, what were we talking about before? Uh, all right. Why the silly led us here? I think we should look around where the Avidia leopards attacked me. If the silly is trying to make me remember things that happened in the past, it would make the most sense for it to hide clues in memorable locations. Oh, hope the silly's clue wasn't also torn to shreds by a video leopards. Let's look around first. Relax, no need to be so pessimistic all the time. Uh, I'm sorry, you're right. <sighs> it's a bad habit of mine. I suppose any progress is a step in the right direction. Let's go. We should be close. Oh, sure enough, it's here. And in a really obvious place. Hmm. That pretty much confirms my hunch about the Seelie's intentions. It seems like the Seelie knows you really well. It feels like the Seelie's trying to provoke you. No. No, uh, I don't know, but how did it know about all these details? I've hardly told anyone about this stuff. Uh, uh, it's not hiding somewhere and spying on me, is it? Oh, that's a scary thought. Uh, anyway, let's look at the clue we found. Um... Seems like you haven't forgotten about your very first failure. Ah, oh, see? It knows everything. This may be too much, even for the wizard seal. Oh, I have no idea what's going on. No wonder the seal is becoming legendary. Oh, let's keep reading the clue. Ahem. <clears throat> I've placed the second clue where heaven meets water. The answer, seemingly amongst the stars, was ultimately washed to some unremarkable place downstream. Oh, just as I thought. It's something to do with me again. You already got the meaning. 
If the first clue was any indication, then the location described in this clue should also be related to my life experiences. Oof. Most Ritawahist research is related to studying the stars. Uh, my own thesis work often requires me to go in the field and collect astrological data. And, uh... Oh. Let's just say there's another devastating and unforgettable failure I had. Should we still keep on this close? Think about these things will only make things worse for you. Uh, but that can't be helped, right? We do many things not because we want to, but uh, because we have to. Uh, let's keep moving. It might be hard to believe, but being out and about is making me feel a lot better uh, than usual. Here, uh, that's the spot. That's where I performed my first field observation after enrolling at the academia. I borrowed some equipment from the school and came here on a perfectly clear day. Everything was ready to go and I was positive that I'd be able to get some great data. But the equipment was a little heavy and I didn't notice that the ground was muddy and some spots were unstable. After I finished setting up everything, part of the ground suddenly shifted and my equipment started teetering over. I rushed over to grab hold of it, but I ended up tripping over another piece of equipment. The next thing I knew, everything was covered with muddy water. Oh, me and all my equipment. You must be wondering how someone can be so clumsy. Well, not really. We're all, all prone to mistakes when we aren't well rested. Uh, thank you for understanding. If I were the one complaining about not being well rested, it would just sound like an excuse. Oh, it's a vicious cycle. The less I sleep, the more mistakes I make. The more mistakes I make, the harder it is for me to sleep. Oh, what happened afterwards? Were you injured? Uh, I just got a minor fracture. So I had to rest at be Marston for a while. Oh, to pay off the damages to the equipment, I took some part-time jobs. I just went to work whenever I couldn't sleep. It took me forever to pay off what I owed. Don't tell me your insomnia got worse after that. Bingo. Oh, the pressure from my studies and debt was crushing me, and I didn't want to tell my family about any of it. After all, I am the legendary Layla who made it into the academia at a young age. Oh, and had never failed an assignment in her life. Ever consider taking a break? Of course. I've even considered giving up on my studies completely and returning home to help care for the Sumter Beast, but that would be kind of embarrassing. Oh. I don't mean that I'd be embarrassed in front of others. Uh, I mean that I'd be ashamed of myself. After all, everything I've done up till now is only a result of my own decisions. Although, it hasn't always been smooth sailing and sometimes things don't go my way. I made it this far on my own. There haven't been any major incidents with my studies, and I even managed to pay off the equipment damages. Uh, but I guess I'm exaggerating a bit. 
Most of it is still due to the help of some unknown person rather than my own work. <laughs> Your parents will feel bad if they knew what we were going through. And that's exactly why they mustn't ever find out. Once I finally manage to acclimate to life in Sumeru City, I'll show them my success. Oh, I hope that day will come eventually. Anyways, let's continue looking for the next clue. Uh, it should be around here somewhere. An unremarkable place downstream was the description. Time to go! Hey. Here, it's over here. Oh, good thing it's dry. I was worried the message might be wet. Let's see. Have you found it? The unremarkable place downstream. Well, of course. Hmm. How else could I be reading this message? Seriously. <clears throat> I've placed the third hint at a crossroad without a cross. You can turn left or right, but turning back shouldn't be an option. It feels like the clues are getting more and more vague. Huh. They're actually getting clearer for me. I was sort of expecting this even before I read the message. I don't know if the clues are following a timeline, or if they're based on the amount of regret I have. Either way, this incident was bound to come up sooner or later. Sounds like it's this is getting personal. See me stop you. Huh. Would someone really go to all this trouble just to pull off some prank? Uh, I can't make heads or tails of it. Anyway, just follow me. I'll save the story for when we get there. This is the place that immediately came to mind when the hint mentioned a crossroad. I came here to conduct some astrological observation once. Everything went smoothly on the way, and I thought I was starting to get used to life at the academia. But just as I was about to set up the observation equipment, I heard a strange sound coming from nearby. I made my way here, and discovered a bunch of bandits robbing someone. They were a group of treasure hoarders, and the family that was being mugged looked completely helpless. They definitely wouldn't have been able to escape, and simply handing over their mora might not have been enough to make the bandits go away. So you wanted to help, but couldn't. Not exactly. I yeah. already had a vision by that time. Someone with a vision should technically be really powerful, right? Handling a group of treasure hoarders should be well within my abilities. However, I didn't know how to channel the power of the elements to fight at that time, and I was super scared. Mm. I wielded immense power, but I didn't feel any stronger than just an ordinary person. Then what happened? Then, I ran away. I scrambled towards Sumeru City looking for help. Eventually, I managed to return with a few adventures I ran into along the way. 
It took longer than I had hoped, and by the time we made it back here, the treasure hoarders and the family were gone. I don't know if the family only lost their belongings in the end, or if something worse happened to them. Mm. Oh, I faced a lot of problems after coming to Sumeru City, but this incident is one that I regret the most. I sat on the ground and... and began to cry. I could have stepped in to help that family. W would it have ended differently if... if I were just a little braver? Those things are going up when I don't have options. You did the right thing, you can solve every problem with just courage alone. Being rational is just as important. Thank you for trying to comfort me, but I can't stop myself from thinking that way. It's just as the silly said, turning back shouldn't be an option. However, I can't help but think about running away whenever I'm faced with a challenge. The silly probably wants to do more than just criticize you for the best. Why don't you try facing your challenge head on? Let's try. Let's take a break from searching and rest for a bit. No. Sure. Uh, you're right. The more challenging it gets, the harder I should try. <sighs> I'm feeling calmer now. Ah, <sighs> okay. Let's go look for more leads nearby. We're probably getting close now. Let's search this area. Oh. <laughs> ah, here it is, just as I thought. The ceiling must have placed it here in advance. Let's see what we have this time. <sighs> Whatever it is, I'm ready. Picture up and do the same. Uh, huh? It's a picture? So it's not a riddle this time. I uh, guess not. This house looks like it's in Vimara Village. Does the silly want us to go there? Maybe some sort of traps when first there. This may be the last stop in our search. Uh, I can't think of any connection I have with Vimara Village though. I've only been there once and it was pretty uneventful. Uh, whatever the case, the only way we'll know is if we go there. Just be sure not to push yourself too hard. Ah, oh, thanks, but I'm fine. I'm used to pushing my limits. I know how far I can go. Time to go. Uh, let's see. This should be the place. Nothing seems out of the ordinary. Uh, maybe the silly didn't prepare anything for us this time. Uh, or does it want us to knock on the door first? Uh, if we're wrong about this, it'll be super awkward. Oh no. Uh, you're right. I can't always be like this. Uh, sometimes it's better to take action than overthink every little thing. 
Coming! Just a moment. Oh, it's you, Layla. How nice of you to stop by again. Uh, huh? Do, do you know me? <laughs> That's no way to greet a friend. Of course I know you. Is this a friend of yours? Or perhaps a classmate? Uh, a friend. We, um... I'm having a little trouble with my thesis, and we happened to be passing by. What's going on, Layla? Uh, I don't know either. I don't even know where to begin. I recognized him immediately. He's one of the people that was getting robbed by the treasure hoarders. But he shouldn't know anything about me. He shouldn't even know who I am. You said you've been to Imar village once. Uh, yeah, but that was before the robbery. I was just passing through. Even if he saw me, he would know who I am. He didn't notice me during the robbery. Is something the matter? Uh, I appreciate your kindness, but I really can't remember how we met. Uh, I'm sorry. So you aren't joking? Do you still remember when my family and I were being robbed by a gang of treasure hoarders? Yes, but I don't think I was of much help to you all. How so? You told us everything yourself the last time we met. My family and I were surrounded by treasure hoarders, and I didn't know what to do. But then, we heard people approaching in the distance. Those treasure hoarders were the first to hear them coming, and started to flee the moment they sensed the situation wasn't going their way. They didn't even bother taking anything with them. I wasn't sure what had happened, but the treasure hoarders were scared off. I immediately grabbed my wife and child and got out of there. Oh, uh, I see. Uh... I'm so glad that you and your family were unharmed. I thought it was a party of adventurers that happened to pass by, but later you told me that you had spotted us and ran to find help. You were amazing. You managed to keep a level head even in the midst of danger. I know you have a vision, so those treasure hoarders wouldn't have been a match for you. But they might have harmed me and my family if their backs were pushed against the wall. Uh, wait, that's not exactly what happened. I still regret not helping out sooner. Uh, anyway, uh, when did I come here last? I don't seem to remember. Hmm, it's been some time, but not too long ago. I don't recall exactly when. What's wrong? Nothing's coming to mind? Uh, nope. I'm sorry. I still can't seem to remember, even after everything you've told me. Maybe I'm just under too much pressure. You came over and ate with us, and you played games with my son. <sighs> if only we had taken a picture. Oh, you forgot a package here from that visit. You'll definitely remember once you see it. Wait here, I'll go fetch it. Uh, a a package? I left a package here? Ah, uh, wait, this is it. Mm. This is the talisman that I lost, the one that my mother made for me. Uh. Well, is it really the same one you lost? Uh, yes, this is definitely it. She made it herself. It's the only one of its kind. Uh, there's also a letter here. Was I planning to send it to someone? Uh, let's see who the recipient is. To Layla? I'm assuming you are in the habit of writing letters yourself. Uh, no! I swear I've never done anything like that. Ah, oh, what is going on? Uh, let's open it and see what...
what this is all about. Ahem. <clears throat> Hello, Layla. It must have been quite the endeavor to follow the Seelie's hints all the way here. Great work. Self-reflection is a wonderful quality to possess, but you'll only end up hurting yourself if you overdo it. Failure is a stranger to no one. The purpose of self-reflection is not to indulge in the pain of failure, but to succeed in your next attempt. If you're reading this letter, then you have succeeded in taking the first step. On the back of this letter is the core information that your thesis is lacking. It's actually been done for a while now. It only feels inconclusive because it's missing a concise summary to tie it all together. I hope that this journey has provided insight for your life ahead. From the bottom of my heart, I wish you courage as you carry onward and hope that you fulfill the expectations you hold. Always watching over you. Sincerely, the Wisdom Sealy. Oh. <laughs> I thought... I thought we were going to fail. I thought that... Everything we did and all the time we spent was for nothing. But... The silly wasn't messing with me after all. Could it be that the wizard silly is you? Uh, I, I doubt it. I mean, unless I somehow came here while I was unconscious and don't remember it. Although, having said that, I have <laughs> heard rumors claiming that I sleepwalk a lot. Hmm. But even then, that doesn't necessarily mean that I'm actually the Wisdom silly. It could have just helped me while I was sleepwalking. Uh, either way, it's safe to say that it's related to the blessing from the stars. Uh, I'll write back and ask <laughs> to meet with the silly and see how it responds. Even though I still have a lot of questions, this experience was fruitful enough. If it wasn't for your encouragement, I probably would have quit halfway through and holed up in the academia somewhere. Uh, perseverance really does pay off. I'm not sure if I understand what has happened, but it's something good, right? Yes, it's something really, really good, and I'm very thankful for it. Well then, since you're already here, why don't you stay and have something to eat? We just finished preparing some food. Oh, uh... Come on, don't be a stranger. Your friend should join us as well. You can leave your troubles until after the meal. You must relax and gather your strength so you can take on the challenges ahead, am I right? He's right. All right, thank you all. Uh, I can do this. Uh, what? The price to pay is it is returns. Uh, we should courage as you carry onwards and hope that you fulfill the expectations you hold. Hey. There is a lot I think this is your home. Don't miss out. Um. Okay, I could give, give up here. Time to go. This is the place that I came here, but 
just they were a group of treasure hoard, not a, a somewhat. However, I didn't know then. Eventually, it took long. I don't know if. Oh, I could have stepped in to help that it family. Did the right thing. Oh, thank you for trying to comfort me, but I can't stop myself from thinking that way. It's just as the silly said. Turning back shouldn't be an option. However, I can't help but think about running away whenever I'm faced with the challenge. Uh, let's take a break from searching and rest for a bit. Oh, but, but what about my thesis? Oh, we still haven't found the Celia's answer yet. Forget about the thesis, you need to get some rest first. Your health is more important than your thesis. Hmm. Sorry for causing you so much trouble. Let's find some place to rest. Alright. I uh, actually don't have much stamina. I've been stressed this whole time and I feel exhausted. I'm really sorry. Um, oh. Uh, it's a bit far to rest. Why not here? Time to go. I'll prepare some food and juice. Alright. I'm gonna give my legs a rest. I'll be waiting for you here. I feel bad for making you go through so much trouble for me. Oh, if only I were more capable. No, you shouldn't say that. We're always good in different ways. Things... I'm sorry. Uh, I always find myself having to apologize. Uh, but enough of that. I need to pull myself together. The memories I've been reminded of are all really taxing. Uh, I cannot just give up this time, even if my head's not in a good place. Letting these heavy feelings get the best of me will only slow us down. Uh, watch out! Behind you! What's wrong? Monsters! A lot of them too. Why didn't we see them coming? Just leave to me. It won't take a moment. Uh, no, I'll fight too. You need to rest. But I want to help. I can't just sit back and watch you while you fight. Uh, don't worry, I can handle myself. I mustn't keep repeating my past regrets. That's the most valuable lesson I've learned today. I should take action when I'm needed and give it my all when the moment calls. If you miss those opportunities in life, you may never get another chance to make up for them. Huh. I suppose that's fate. I see. Alright, let's take them all down. My guiding stars! Final warning! Stay put! Fallen leaves, adorn my no- Wait, is that- No, no, not here. Is that my Layla or- No, try it. It's another one. Uh, a eight. Yeah, this is the night. The night is cold. Shadows of fate. Don't be scared. Wind strider. Time to go. 
Written in the stars. Now's our chance. <laughs> Not now. As one with wind and cloud. Stars, shine for me. <sighs> I really need to keep up with my training. <sighs> it's embarrassing to be out of breath so quickly like this. <sighs> Are you alright? Well, the only appropriate response would be to say that I'm fine, right? Oh, I'm pale due to lack of sleep, not because of the fight. But then again, I know you'd be able to see right through those words. Oh, I'm feeling weak. There's no hiding it. I'm just happy I didn't get in your way during the fight. Mm, you did great. Oh, <laughs> Uh, thanks for the compliment. I sure don't get to hear that often. Although, I may not be physically strong, my will is as resilient as they come. I'll be fine after I rest for a bit. Can you stay with me while I recover my energy? <sighs> it shouldn't take long. Once beaten, twice shy. Despite her incredibly weak disposition, she still chose to make a stand. Perhaps she wanted to prove a point, or perhaps she didn't want to leave the regrets. The scenery is wonderful. Surely enough to convey. Okay, so that path's done. Is anyone to become a wanderer? It's up there. Time to go. Time to go. <sighs> Finally, Love you I ran out of, uh, I'll come back tomorrow to check if I see. All right, then. Time to look. Yours is sparkly. The ceiling was... oh, this is wonderful. My troubles are at an end. Uh, let's take a uh, thank you. Uh, okay. However, follow consider the what the... it's up, but I'm running. Uh am I messing with you? Huh, oh, good point. Why else would it use such a roundabout way to tell me its answer? Supposedly, everyone who's been pranked by the silly had angered it in some way. That means the silly is someone who's very strict and serious about knowledge. Uh, but who knows if it's really a silly or some person. Uh, the main issue is that you have a deadline to meet. There's no guarantee that you'll actually get an answer, even after doing what it says. True, and if I don't get an answer, then I'll only have wasted more time. Oh, but 
But there's nothing else we can do. It's the one holding all the cards. It's completely hidden and can choose whether to help us or not. After all, it'd probably be impossible to find it and ask my question in person. No, oh, that sounds like an idea. Huh? Uh, I was just kidding. Oh, please don't take me seriously. It's a Sealy we're talking about. According to legend, Sealies are elusive and can create countless copies of themselves. Who's to say that it won't summon a shooting star to crush us once we find it? I never see one do any of that. You don't actually believe those legends, do you? Think about what you just said for a moment. S sorry I'm just a little panicky. Okay, Layla. Calm down and think. If the Sealy is a person, then there has to be a way to track them down. We have two possible leads right now. Uh, the first is the checkout logs of those two books, and the other is the red stamp. We didn't the check red out stamp the book. bears the Ritawahist emblem, which is used by a lot of people. Uh, it'll be hard to track down an individual, uh, so we should probably start with the checkout logs. Can't disagree with the launch. But we didn't check out the book. Let's go and make an inquiry. We can also ask around the house of Dana and see if anyone else knows something about the wisdom sealy. Legend of the Wisdom, Silly. <sighs> Do I really look like the kind of student that would be interested in such a pointless legend? Oh, uh, I'm sorry. We were just curious. Well, I do happen to have some information on it. <laughs> then why didn't you just say so? Huh? Logically, that has nothing to do with the question I asked. I just don't want others to see me as some poor excuse for a student whiling away my time in the house of Dana. Uh, I don't really think bad students would come to the house of Dana to pass the time. Uh, but anyways, you were saying? Well, I spend most of my time here, and I have noticed something odd before. One time, late at night, a black shadow fell from above and landed in the central area of the House of Dana. Of course, I was a little sleepy at the time, but it startled me, and I got up to see what was going on. Uh, and then what happened? Then, the shadow quickly circled behind me with incredible speed. Just as I tried to turn around to get a look at it, I fainted. This shadow sounds pretty powerful. Yes, it was unbelievably fast. I had never seen anything like it. It was so unusual that I wasn't sure if it was real or if I was half dreaming. But given how popular the legend of the Sealy has become lately, maybe this has something to do with it. Uh, don't take this the wrong way, but doesn't the House of Dana have a door? It was closed that night. <sighs> I suppose even the House of Dana needs to be closed for maintenance from time to time. I see. That makes sense. But what were you doing here if the House of Dana was closed? Don't look so surprised. It's a common practice to find a place to hide before they lock the doors, so you can continue reading books here. Everyone knows that. Good thing I'm not studying alongside you. I can tell that you really stress me out. Uh, anyway, thank you for the info. I'll be sure to take note of everything you mentioned. You're welcome. Okay. If you don't have any more questions, I'm going to go back to my books now. Time to go. Uh, hi there. Do you know anything about the Wisdom Sealy? 
Yes, of course. I've been looking into it for quite a while now. However, I feel like I'm still missing some key pieces of information. Hey, maybe if we put our heads together, we can figure something out. Uh, sure. I'll try my best. There are a few known traits of the Wisdom Sealy. First, it's extremely strong. It can easily carry a few dozen books, along with four or five pieces of astrology equipment all at once. It's extremely athletic as well. It only moves in a straight line and doesn't stop for anything, not even walls or rivers. Lastly, it has a number of special abilities. It has a hardened metal body that's impervious to injury. It can freeze water into ice, and it can also summon meteors. That doesn't even sound human. Uh, it sounds like some hero out of a fairy tale. Well, it is a legend after all. It's no surprise that some details seem a little exaggerated. But these aren't just made up, you know. Each of its abilities has been confirmed by eyewitnesses. There have been many sightings, too, including a Chatracom cave, the Avidia forest, and around the waterfall south of Sumeru City. Has anyone seen what it actually looks like? Or what kind of person it is? Hmm, not that I know of. No one's been able to get close to it. It seems like it tries to stay out of sight. I would probably want to remain a mystery, too, if I were someone as legendary as the Wisdom Sealy. So what do you make of it? Have you seen it somewhere as well? No. We're probably gonna need some time to digest all the, uh, incredible information you've provided us. <laughs> Not a problem. But if you manage to find anything, be sure to come and tell me about it. I trust that you'll quickly discover the excitement of slowly unraveling the truth. Please, remember to share any new information you come across. Oh, hello there. Can I help you? Uh, uh hello. I'm a Ritawahis student and would like to see the checkout logs for theoretical astrology and a quick reference guide to astrology cases. Oh, are you also here to investigate the Ritawahist Wisdom Seely legend? Uh, also? Hmm. I suppose it makes sense that we're not the only ones investigating such a popular legend. <laughs> yes, I myself am also quite curious about it, but unfortunately, I haven't found anything out of the ordinary. Given your Ritawahis student, I'm sure you know that a lot of research references these two books. All our copies of these particular titles are frequently checked out. I have looked into it, but found no irregularities in the checkout logs. Is there any chance the Sealy could have taken the books out and returned them without being noticed? Not likely. That would be almost impossible. The House of Dana is extremely strict about the circulation of its books. There will always be a record if a book is checked out. And even if it managed to figure out a way to take the books without leaving any record, it's possible that someone would come looking to borrow the books before the Sealy returned them. If someone discovers that a book is missing or that it doesn't match my inventory records, it would come to my attention immediately. However, it might be possible to pull off in the case of a less popular book. Okay, I understand now, thank you. Uh, this is useful to know. With any luck, it'll help us work out the Sealy's identity. Okay, everyone's given us a lot of useful information. Let's go through it and try to organize everything. Some things we heard were pretty straightforward, but others were just uh, ridiculous. We should be able to figure out more about its identity whereabouts. Yeah, uh, let me think and see what I can make of it. Uh, okay. Calm down, Layla. I know the info's all over the place, but you can definitely do it.
First, let's try to figure out the Seelie's identity based on the clues we currently have. Then, we'll analyze where it's been sighted and its motives. Finally, we'll piece everything together. From there, we should be able to predict its movement. <sighs> Alright, let's give it a try. Uh, uh, bookshelf of logs, shadow they infiltrated the house of deed. For me, that sounds... The guy said it was in the middle. For me, it sounds like Al Hayton just jumping from the top floor. Uh, Silent location with no superpower. The shadow. Ain't there proof? Uh, it once infiltrated the house of Dana while it was closed. Just that. Hmm. Book circulation hmm. is strictly regulated. And there is a log of anyone who checks out a book. It's been to the Chatracom Cave, the Avidia Forest, and the waterfall south of Sumeru City. Hmm. I think I heard somewhere that it has a lot of ridiculous abilities. The stamp. Hmm. Which probably means they're a Ratawa his student. We had come to that supposition right at the beginning before talking to anybody. I may be able to come up with a more concrete lead if I keep thinking. Associate with that. Hmm. No. No, there doesn't seem to be any notable connection between these two pieces of information. That? Well. The stamp. Huh? I'm not supposed to connect that. Uh. Oh, okay, I didn't I didn't read, I didn't notice it was a new thing. Uh, here lunch. Ah, okay. I think I've got it now. So what you've come up with? First, based on the information Katayun provided, we can assume that the Sili is a student from the Ritawahis Darshan. The possibility of it being someone outside the Darshan can be ruled out because it'd be impossible to gain access to those two books without going through the librarian. Next, leaving its crazy abilities aside, all the sightings took place in locations that are officially recommended for astrology observation by the Academia. In other words, it's probably just conducting research, and the nature of its research is very similar to mine. The question that I submitted was no simple query, but it was able to give me a reply in just a day. This implies that it's familiar with a similar field of knowledge. So based on this reasoning, all we have to do is wait for it at the next astrological observation site. Your reason is solid. Look at you, finish your thesis should be no problem at all. Uh, uh, it's nothing, really. There are actually some other factors that I've been speculating about. Oh, but that's not important right now. Let's get going. Even though we have a lead, it's still hard to say whether we'll be able to make any discoveries. Uh, I'll tell you what I mean by that if the CLE doesn't show up. Okay, so we're going there. Well, 
Today is perfect for observation. Let's see if it shows up. Honestly, spending an entire night waiting for something that we're not sure is gonna happen might not be the best use of our time. But we don't really have any choice. This is all we've got. Get some sleep if you're tired. I'll be up. It's not like I could sleep anyways. Uh, I'll stay up with you. Thanks. Hmm. Oh, how about I share some basics about astrology with you? If you're interested, that is. Sure enough, it didn't show up. We hardly saw any animals, let alone people. No matter how conclusive the evidence is or how perfect our reasoning may be, nothing will happen as long as I'm awake. Are you referring to the Wisdom City or the Plesios from the stars? They're probably one and the same. It's like I told you, I have a severe sleeping disorder, and there have been a lot of rumors about me sleepwalking. I tried to understand what I had been doing when I'm unconscious, but uh, I've never been able to get any definitive evidence. Something is actively attempting to cover up all the clues without my knowing. Maybe that something is me, uh, or maybe it isn't. Uh, oh, I can't be sure. For all I know, I could even be the Sealy. But what if I am? Would the Sealy be willing to help me this time? What is it actually thinking? Uh, I really have no idea. What if I could help you? Huh? You want to help me? Of course it would be nice to know what's really going on. But that's impossible. It's always avoiding me and keeping me in the dark. And that won't change even if you're around. See how badly... Oh, wait, huh? See how badly she wants to know, maybe we should find a way to ask the other Layla about it. Huh? What's wrong? Oh, nothing. Maybe there really isn't anything we can do. Seems like we've come up empty-handed again this time. Yeah... Uh, and to think I could have been working on my thesis this whole time. Uh, my stomach is churning just thinking about it. Uh, you're really not going to finish on time now. There's nothing else I can do, I'm sorry. Uh, please stop. The more you talk about it, the more silly I feel. Oh, oh come on, Layla. What are you doing? Everyone's gonna start thinking you're crazy now. Uh, oh no, I'm losing it. Uh, so dizzy. Uh, I'm sorry to you make you feel so uncomfortable. Oh, we had to. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I got distracted there. Where were we? Uh, it seems like she's completely recovered. Does that mean... Oh, what's wrong? You look like you've got something on your mind. Are you the other Layla? Hmm? <laughs> what are you talking about? What do you mean the other Layla? I am Layla. But you somehow seem a little different. Then why don't you repeat the conversation we just had? <sighs> Fine. It appears that you were waiting for me to show up. 
I suppose there's no use in me pretending. I promise I don't mean any harm and I'll answer all your questions. But before that, would you mind telling me who you are first? I'm a friend of Layla's. I'm trying to help her finish her thesis. Let me think. Okay, I got it. You two found this place by following the hints that I left behind. You were planning to wait for me. <laughs> or I should say you were waiting for the Sealy to show up. Was this your idea or hers? Mostly hers. I see. Yes, she's always had great analytical skills. It'd be nice if she was more confident, though. <sighs> Alright, that's all the questions I have. Your turn. Please ask away. Uh, if she doesn't know the conversation we we're just having, how does she know so much about how Layla is on her day-to-day -day life? She wasn't present there. Did you infiltrate the House of Dana? And what about those rumors of special powers? You're the city, aren't you? Was it the city pranking people? No. Special powers. Infiltrating the House of Dana was a total accident. She'd forgotten an important book and the House of Dana happened to be closed at the time. There were only days before the paper was due. I had no choice but to scale the walls with some simple climbing ropes and sneak in from above while the Corf 30 wasn't paying attention. I had no idea there was still a student inside. I had no choice but to put him to sleep. Any clear evidence of my existence would only hinder my ability to conceal my identity. It would also expose me to Layla as well. As for the special powers, well, they're just things I did during the process of trying to finish the thesis. It's like I said, I don't have much time, so I need to be as efficient as possible. Things you did, so you turned your skin into metal, and you carried a, a lot of weight somehow. What's with the silly pranking people? I can instantly tell which students are asking serious questions, and which are just trying to take advantage of me to slack off. My time to move freely is quite limited, so it's only natural that I would punish the people attempting to waste my time. My intention is to help people. I'm not here to cause any harm. You're just silly, aren't you? That was kind of That's obvious. right. Though I didn't intend for it to turn out this way, really. I just wanted to help out a few other classmates who were having a hard time while I was helping Layla finish her thesis. You see, Layla doesn't have many friends at the Academia. If the others noticed her helping them out, I thought maybe I'd help her become more sociable. Unfortunately, that didn't really work out. Instead, Legends of the Sealy started going around. <laughs> but that's alright. Well then, does that answer all your questions? Actually, I have one last question. Why? Why don't you want her to know you exist? Ah, you see... Her emotions are incredibly unstable. She's constantly doubting herself. If she knew that there's another Layla who is capable of doing everything, she may think even less of herself. She could think, maybe I should just leave it all to her. I'm always relying on her anyway. Why not let her live my life for me? She might start thinking about giving up completely, and that's the exact opposite of what I'm trying to do for her. After all, she and I are one and the same. We're two sides of the same coin. No one knows her greatest strength more than I do. It's her resilience. If she's able to persevere in everything she does, then one day she won't need my help anymore. I trust that she's capable of doing that, and it's something that she should do on her own. I see. She actually discovered the key data she needs for her thesis a long time ago. She just didn't organize it well enough. I'll complete her thesis for her just as I have in the past. Oh, please don't share any of this with her. I would like to keep this a secret for both of our sakes. I understand. Thank you for doing this for me. No, for us. 
Ah, <sighs> she seems to be waking up now. Well, this is goodbye. If we never meet again, then I guess I did something right. <laughs> You're fine, you just had a little nap. Oh, I see. Was I sleepwalking? Oh, I was, wasn't I? No, no, really? No, I don't think so. Uh, really? Oh, I don't believe you. You're hiding something from me. It's written all over your face. I'm not really. You said you were gonna help me, didn't you? Why are you holding out on me now? Please tell me! Hmm, you promised you'd help. And that which remains unspoken. To keep a promise made to her means breaking a promise you made to her. This is a tricky situation indeed. I never noticed there were eyes on some bushes. No. Is that part of a trick? No. This one is unbreak. Uh, it's probably an uh, Aranara. Okay. Here and it's done. So let's get back to the start. Rose, uh, are you going? Are you going to go this really? Oh, come to think of it, I haven't seen Twirly Whirly in a long time. Ah, uh, but no, now's not the time for that. I was originally looking up some information at the house of Dana, but the more I read, the more I realized that my thesis is horribly lacking. <laughs> should have been done with the first draft of my th well but uh, i should probably notify my advisor sooner you than still later have time, right? to be honest i haven't slept a wink for days <sighs> lack of sleep hinders my ability i've seen the caliber oh if it wasn't for uh is this someone a good friend of yours are they the Ray Fungus Elder, where's that from? Huh? What's that? A fungus with a long beard? Uh, there's no such thing. Though, if there were, I'd love to give it a pat or two. Ah, uh, this might sound strange, but I actually don't know who's been... <sighs> Due to my lack of... Yeah, uh, my... but that's... I really... Maybe the stars above decided to help Follow out after like seeing... That. Uh, but there's no point in me studying at the academia if I keep relying on this mysterious phenomenon. It comes down to my own oh, effort. Sexy. Oh no. I... Uh, I still... Yes, but time... But the wisdom seat... Uh, if you want its help... Maybe some all research you have to do was remain anonymous. No one knows who or what it actually is. It's just known as the Wisdom Sealy. But getting an answer all comes down to this. Uh, so all I can do. Uh, who knows if it'll. Trying my luck with a nut. 
Uh, it's too risky to rely on some fiction legends to complete your thesis. Hmm, you're right. I need to keep a level head. Uh, I don't have time to waste. But what do we do from here? I can't just go back and start packing to leave. You should rest first. Rest? But my deadline's just around the corner. Oh, I don't think I can afford to rest right now. Uh, you won't be able to write anything in your current state. You waste a bit more time if you try to push yourself like this. Uh, you do have a point. Oh, sorry. I tend to panic easily, as you can see. Then how should I rest? I definitely won't be able to sleep. As soon as I close my eyes, all kinds of thoughts start floating into my head. How about if we had to post a cafe? Oh, that's a good idea. A cup of coffee might help clear my head. Let's go. Time to go. down here and have some coffee and sweets. It'll help me put my thoughts together. Uh, no. We're here to rest. My problems will have to wait for now. Oh, hey, Layla. Uh, huh? Sorry, but who are you? I'm one of Layla's classmates. I just came by to say hi. Why are you look angry? We just submitted our theses and we're totally beat. Everyone will be meeting here to celebrate. You don't Seeing look how happy. relaxed you look, you must have already had your thesis finished ages ago. Oh, no, I... I'm actually having a lot of trouble with it. You say that every time we talk, but you've never missed a deadline. Not only that, your papers are always well-written and thorough. Your advisor is constantly praising your work. Yet you're always going around saying stuff like, I can't make it, I don't understand, I'm super worried. That kind of talk doesn't reflect your work at all, you know. Well, uh, I... Where are you getting at? Why are you being so hostile towards Layla? Yeah, <sighs> For starters, she doesn't even try to participate with the group at all. It's one thing that she's not willing to help us, but she doesn't even bother showing up for our discussion meetings. Every time we come to see her, she looks out of sorts and on the verge of a breakdown. It's not like we can't finish our own theses without her, but no one wants to always see her this way. Uh, I know, I know. Sorry. Everyone's entitled to their own choices. You should learn to respect that. Just because Layla breaks the mold doesn't mean it's a problem. Whatever. There's no point in starting an argument here. If you think she can justify her behavior, then that's your opinion. <laughs> uh, thanks for standing up for me. I really want to help the others, but most of the time I'm barely scraping by myself. There's very little I can help with. Uh, is it because no one others should know about the blessing from the stars? Yeah, I can't ever tell my classmates about that. I'd be a mess if they ever reported it to my advisor. It's really just a big misunderstanding, and there's nothing I can do about it. Everyone just gives me weird looks and judges me. It's making it really difficult to find friends. It's actually pretty rare for someone to actively engage in a conversation with me uh, like you do. I think you understand your situation now. Uh, huh? What do you mean? You think that the blessing from the stars is some external power that's out of your control. Only by improving yourself and no longer rely on the external power can you break out of this vicious cycle. Uh, 
Yeah, that's exactly it. Seems you know just as well as I do. The thing is, I'm terrible under pressure. That's just my nature. Even the thought of everyone's expectations back home is enough to make me feel nervous. And the more nervous I get, the worse things become around me. Take what Munira just said, for example. I don't think I'll be able to get it out of my mind for the entire day. That means I won't be able to relax at all today. Uh, why don't you try facing the problem head on? Sounds like I need a f way for it to completely relax. No problem. Uh, face it head on? What, what should I do? Do you really think I can? It's simple. Just break down the unfinished parts of the thesis into different tasks and tackle them one by one. Uh, oh, okay. I've got a pen and paper with me. Let me go through them real quick. Hmm... The theory sections are pretty much finished. I'll be able to finish organizing the rest of my own. Uh, as of now, I'm missing crucial observation data. I need the results of an observation to validate the conclusion of my thesis. And then there's the preparation for my thesis defense. Uh, I'll need to mentally prepare. Those don't sound so difficult, I can help you. What? You want to help me with my thesis? Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. I don't even know how to show you my gratitude. Don't worry about it. We've already come this far. Oh, you're so kind. I had no idea I'd meet someone so nice in Sumeru City. Oh, okay, I'll do my best. It's the least I can do, considering everything you've already done for me. Uh, first on the list is the experiment to get observational data. I actually had it all planned out several days ago and even borrowed a celestial globe from a Mahamata. However, the weather was rainy every single day after I borrowed it, and I was unable to compare the night sky against the celestial globe. There were a lot of people waiting to borrow the Celestial Globe, and I wasn't able to extend my time slot. So, I returned it and haven't been able to borrow it again since. That's why I still haven't performed the necessary observations yet. I don't know what to do. Oh, you're lacking some equipment. That's right. The Celestial Globe is a high-precision device used specifically for researching the stars. Submitting an application to borrow one from the Academia is pretty much the only way for me to get my hands on one. Looks like we're gonna have to ask around at the Adventurer's Guild. Huh? Why the Adventurer's Guild? Because no one has a network like Catherine does. Oh, I see. The Adventurer's Guild is open to everyone's commission, so she might have some ideas. Okay, uh, let's go and try our luck. Uh, she's still there. Okay, they want to just bother us easy here. Astra Episosk. Welcome to the Adventurers Guild. How can I help you today? Uh, I'd like to... Uh, I have a commission... Um, it's kinda strange. How should I put this? We would like to borrow a high-precision celestial globe. <laughs> right. Equipment at the Academia is in very high demand, and we aren't able to borrow one now. We were hoping someone else might have something similar that we could use. I don't know anything about astrology, so I'm afraid I'm unfamiliar with the device you were looking for. However, 
One of our requesters happens to be an astrology enthusiast. I hear that he's a collector of all sorts of specialized astrology equipment. After the Adventurer's Guild helped him out, he indicated that he'd be happy to return the favor if the Adventurers ever need it. Perhaps we could arrange a meeting between you two. That should help solve your problem. R really Thanks so much. You're welcome. It's my job to provide adventurers with the necessary support. The man's name is Azam. Here is his address. You can go ahead and pay him a visit. Time to go. Time to go. H Hello, are you a Zom? <laughs> yes, I am. How may I help you? Mm, you explain to us um, the purpose of your business. Ah, I see. Well, if it's a request from an adventurer, then I'll be happy to help you. <laughs> I just so happen to have the device that you're looking for. Let me fetch it and show you, just to be sure. Yes, this is it. Thank you so much. Uh, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. I just got a little excited. Uh, uh, please go ahead. Hmm. To be honest, judging by what stands before me, I find it very hard to believe that you're an astute Ratawaha student. Astrology is a hobby of mine, and these devices have cost me both time and mora to collect. I cherish them as if they were members of my own family. Which is why I don't let just anyone borrow them on a whim. These devices are delicate, and can easily be damaged if used inappropriately. Oh, th that's completely understandable. Uh, what can I do to better gain your trust? How about this? I don't need a deposit or anything, but I'd like you to share the contents of your research with me. I'll ask you some questions. If your explanation proves satisfactory, then I'll lend you the device. Sh share the contents of my research and answer questions? Uh... Uh, if it messes up, you won't be able to gain his trust. Don't be nervous, just explain what it learns this should be a piece of cake for you <sighs> all right no? i'll try but i can't disclose the actual details to you uh how about a general overview of the research uh, would that suffice yes that would be fine you're probably aware that astrologists rely on the movements of celestial bodies to calculate the past and the future, as well as attempt to summarize the correlating principles, correct? Mm-hmm, of course. This is the basic principle of astrology. Ahem. <clears throat> My current research is about a certain phenomenon called astral shift. Interesting. That's not a topic any ordinary person would be familiar with. I have a basic understanding of the concept, but I'd like to hear you explain it. Uh, oh, okay. Well, in short, it means that the results derived from astrology are prone to change. As time continues to flow, the stars change and everything else becomes affected by this change. However, what's actually driving the change is what's worth investigating. I think that it might just be another law of nature. If the changes follow a certain pattern or routine, then it could be explained as some law. But the changes are manifold, even when considering just a single star. The changes could be resulting from a simple single orbit shift, or it could be a more complex double orbit, or even a triple or quadruple orbit shift. These phenomena have a dramatic effect on astrological conclusions. Uh, what I'm working on now is the research and prediction of the triple orbit shift phenomenon. 
triple orbit? By yourself? Uh, yes. Uh, that's right. You do know that adding an extra star to the equation increases the computational workload by more than tenfold, right? Uh, it does get a little complicated, but it's still manageable with the use of a few self-invented techniques and a large number of star logs and star charts. Which leads us to why I'm in need of a high-precision celestial globe. Hmm... <laughs> Amazing. I suppose I should never have judged a book by its cover. I thought you were just trying to half-heartedly deal with some school assignment. Uh, do I really look like that sort of person? <laughs> Don't worry. I'm just joking. I was a little cautious at first. But now I trust you completely. It would make me extremely happy if my collection could assist a researcher in achieving tangible results. Just make sure you return it to me once you're done. Oh, thank you so much. I really needed this. Good thing Azam was willing to hear me out. I didn't really understand what you were talking about, but I thought it did great. Really? I was just explaining what it is I'm trying to do. You started to show signs of becoming a great researcher. Really? <laughs> I don't know if you really mean it, but I'm happy to hear that. I guess even the hardest problems can be solved as long as I'm willing to try. Recording and comparing data will be much easier now that we have this device. I can do it all on my own, too. Let's continue with the plan. Can you help me with the rehearsal of my thesis defense? We can do that at the House of Dina. Oh, back there. <laughs> You're quite welcome. It makes me happy to see my equipment being used to its potential. Yeah, I didn't expect to be an actual pretty model for the equipment. Time to go. Time to go. This seems like the best spot to do this. We'll need to be quiet so we don't disturb anyone. So here's what will happen during my thesis defense. After I present my thesis, the advisor sitting below will begin to ask questions. Theoretically, I should be able to answer any questions related to my thesis. However, I tend to get really nervous when my advisors look at me, and I end up completely forgetting what I plan to say. <sighs> That's why I want to rehearse and practice presenting my points in front of someone. So, I'm playing the role of an academic advisor, right? Uh, that's right. You should have gotten the gist of the content in my thesis when I was explaining it earlier. So ask away. It's okay if your questions are a little off. I'll still treat them as real questions from an advisor and answer seriously. Got it. You ready? Uh, wait a moment! <sighs> Alright, Layla, you got this. You were able to explain everything earlier, so you can do it again. All right, ask away. Mm. The normal the great machine can briefly describe the application of the law of the triple orb shift calculation. Can you talk about credible orb shift? No, she's talking about uh, that. Sure. The direction of this research is based on the results of previous research. It's about the feasibility of applying my methodologies to the remaining triple orbit problems. 
Um, based on a sample size of 124 cases, we could only achieve approximately 60% accuracy. The results were not reliable enough to be implemented as a law. You can see the common traits of the erroneous samples on page 3. Uh, excuse me, I mean from the star logs in the appendix. It's clear that in each of the erroneous samples, one of the stars underwent a significant shift. This means that... Uh, we not only need to limit the number of stars, but we may also need to consider the degree of shift when applying triple orbit shift algorithms. Stars with greater shifts are often key in astrology readings. The next step of the research should be... Uh, uh, the next step should be to identify the feasible thresholds of shift for applying our calculations. And that's my answer to your question. Do... do you have any other questions? No, in spite of your stumbles here and there, only has six minutes choice, <sighs> sir. We're finally done. I'm gonna need more practice. I can feel myself getting flustered, and I start to stumble whenever I'm asked questions that I'm unfamiliar with. Your presentation could use some more, but I can tell that your logic sound. Oh, really? You mean it? Hmm, then this practice must be helping. During my first thesis defense, I stood like a statue on the stage and my palms were covered in sweat. I couldn't get a single word out. It seems we've managed to address other major challenges for you. I didn't even realize it, but you're right. It doesn't seem like there's anything holding me back now. I guess that means I'm capable of completing the thesis all on my own. I can hardly believe it. This is amazing. Oh, I'm sorry. It's just that I'm really excited. This is the first time this has happened, really. I'm so happy. You work hard to reach this point. You don't need to rely on others anymore. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure how to put this. I'm really happy about everything that's happened, but I'm also feeling a little sad. I still don't know anything about the blessing from the stars. Will it never happen again since I don't need its help anymore? Huh, <sighs> that somehow makes me feel a little... lonely. Lonely? Yeah, it almost makes the blessing feel like it was just a tool used for my studies, no? But I would really like to discover what the blessing actually is, if I ever get the chance. Uh, I want to express my gratitude for it. Or better yet, maybe we could be friends. That's basically how I feel about it. Even if I know nothing about the blessing, I could still feel its companionship all along. It's almost like how you help me. I really cherish and appreciate it. After all, it wouldn't be right to take such blessings for granted in our lives. I'm sure it will also be very happy to know you feel this way. That's good. I hope it's a little more satisfied with the way I am now. <laughs> Oh, I got that. Uh, a matter of course, natural yet incredible, the unfolding of events will be etched in her memory for a long time to come. Uh, is that for my house? Uh, they were supposed to have many here that aren't marked. Yeah. The array mirror starts mirrors. The community created for astrological observation by Ritau his well how does she say? Rita well, his long ago. It has high precision and imagine efficacy, however, due to the complexity of this device, 
it is expensive and could not be produced in bulk. As such, it is nearly impossible for ordinary students to reserve the use of this device. By the present, this item has become an invaluable device in society as a collector's item. And only one possesses of the most exquisite tastes and is filled with a high enough insight who will be willing to spend heavy amounts of moral for such a thing. It is unlikely that they will casually lend it to another eater. And so, why did I get that? Don't we have to return it? Okay... Uh, here. Uh. Ah, back there we can. Can we not get that? I see. Well, if it's a request from an adventurer... Yes, this is it. Uh, hmm. Uh, Astrology is a hobby of mine, and these devices have cost me both time, which is... Oh. Uh, How about the... If you're... Uh, if he messes up, you won't be able to gain his trust. Uh, you're, you're starting <laughs> to make me feel nervous. I'm sorry. I feel a little dizzy. Uh, 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 Are you okay? Uh, hmm? uh, I'm okay. My mind just decided to stray elsewhere for a moment. Give me a second to gather myself. Oh, is this the celestial globe that I needed to borrow? Why, she asked you? Correct. I was about to test you with a few questions, but you suddenly started looking very uncomfortable. Oh, don't worry about it. I don't sleep very well, so I tend to get a little dizzy from time to time. I'm fine now. Hmm. She seems a little different all of a sudden. Oh, uh, <clears throat> I see. Well then, can you briefly summarize your area of research for me? With pleasure. I'll give you a general overview. <clears throat> You're probably aware that astrologists rely on the movements of the celestial bodies to calculate the past and the future. Okay, Due to the difficulty of designing an experiment and the challenges of validating theories about the past, astrological research is usually based on an immense foundation of experience. And therein lies the largest complexity. Derived and validated conclusions may vary due to subtle changes caused by the flow of time and shifts in the stars. Ah, I've heard about this before. I believe it's known as astral shift. One of the most classic challenges is to use three stars with shifting orbits to predict the overall changes that may have occurred. Ah, are you referring to the triple orbit problem? Yes, that really is a classic problem, and a very difficult one to tackle. I came up with a set of prediction methods that encompass more than half of the triple orbit problems. However, there are quite a few limitations and requirements. This set of methods is already being put into practice at the Ritawahis Darshan by my advisor, drastically simplifying the difficulty of calculations involved in the triple orbit problem. Yes, uh... I've heard about that. The announcement made big waves in the astrology enthusiast community. So, you were the one who came up with that? <laughs> you mustn't judge a book by its cover, you know. The thesis I'm working on this time aims to address the remaining triple orbit problems, as well as eliminate a portion of the methodology's limitations, which will make it easier to use. I see. In that case, Perhaps there's no one more fitting to operate this device than you. I just keep it as part of a collection, and I can't use it to its full potential like you can.
Thank you for understanding. I'll return it in perfect working order once I'm finished with it. Okay, we should be going now. Uh, what did we plan to do after this? I kind of forgot. You aren't Layla, are you? Huh? What makes you say that? Is there something off about me? Your personality's changed. The real Layla wouldn't forget what to do next. Uh, fine. Looks like I can't keep the act up any longer. I even tried to look a little panicky to emulate her behavior. Uh, you're the blessing from the stars, aren't you? <laughs> I suppose that is what she's been calling me. With her long-term sleep deprivation, whenever her anxiety peaks, she loses consciousness and I take over. However, her unpredictable and variable sleep patterns are completely out of my control, so I have to make every second count. There's no one willing to help her here, so I have to step in. Hmm... I am rather curious about you, though. Why are you trying to help her? Well, she's finally decided to face the problems with her thesis at all. And she's working very hard on it. Really? That's great! You're helping with all the things that I used to do for her. Seems like you've given her a boost of confidence with your encouragement. She's only steps away from the finish line. Ah, she's already made a lot of progress, so there's no need to push too hard now. Anyway, what's the plan from here? She says she that she wanted to practice for her thesis defense. I see. Well, it wouldn't be of any help if I practiced for her, but I'll leave some notes that should come in handy. Mm. Come on, let's go back to the house of Dana to make preparations. You'll have to tell her later when she wakes up. Damn, it's annoying to walk all the way inside there. There should be a teleport. Time to go. Time to go. Time to go. Okay, I should get started on those notes. If there's anything you're curious about, you may go ahead and ask now. I can answer you as I write. <laughs> I'm used to multitasking. Oh, and I have to ask a favor. When you give the notes to her later, please don't tell her about my existence. Why is that? Hmm... Well, she's always been in a fragile state. If she knew that there was another Layla who's always taking care of everything... She might feel like everything she's ever worked for is pointless, and that could lead to some demoralizing thoughts. She's a resilient girl, but no matter how resilient she may be, no one can hold up to criticism and torment from themselves. If her condition grows any worse, it's possible that I might cease to exist as well. Then there wouldn't be anyone to help her. Mm, but she's not doing very well now either. She's getting better though, isn't she? It's apparent how hard she's working now. She's my source of knowledge. I'm merely the representation of how she would be if she were rested and healthy. I believe that she's one of the best, even in a place like the Academia where geniuses come by the handful. But growth is a process and shouldn't be rushed. I will always believe in and support her. It's good that she has you, or she might have already hit the rock bottom. <laughs> believe me, even if she were to end up at rock bottom, she'd find a way to somehow laugh it off as one of her silly mistakes and climb her way out. That's the kind of person she is. 
<sighs> all right. I've written down all the possible questions that I think the advisors might ask. Next, I'll put together a few words of encouragement for her. I'm not going to sign it, obviously. Oh, and don't forget about our agreement. So, uh, the star's expectations, they'll never meet, but she will always walk among, alongside her. You know, we can't... Yeah, she could leave notes or something, but they can't really interact directly with one another. Okay... Um, uh, five or six, okay. So here will be the last one. That's the cafe. Yep. I hope the witch returns to the house of Dana. Time to go. Classmates, I just came by to say hi. We just submitted our seeing how we're left. Oh, you say that, yet you're always go. Well, uh, oh, I get it. For starters, she doesn't even try to participate with the group at all. Every time we come, it's not like we can't. Uh, I know, I know. Just because they don't break the mold Sorry. doesn't mean it's a problem. Whatever, there's no point in starting an argument. If you think she can justify her behavior. Uh, I really want to help the help. Yeah, it's real. It's actually. Uh, huh? What do you or mean? Or make yourself no longer rely on external power. Can you break out of the vicious cycle? Uh, yeah, that's exactly it. Seems you know just as well as I do. The thing is, I'm terrible under pressure. That's Same just thing. my nature. Even the thought and the more nervous I get, the worse things become around me. Take what Munira... Sounds like we need to find a way for you to completely relax. C completely relax? But we're at a cafe, is this not relaxing enough? You're taking your studies too seriously. Academics are only one part of your life. I know, I know, but... <sighs> Alright, no more buts. My life is a mess because of the decisions I've made for myself. I should listen to your advice this time. <sighs> How do I completely relax? Uh, since you're from the countryside, why don't we leave Summer City and go sightseeing? Sightseeing? Hmm, that does sound pretty nice. I haven't set foot outside the academia in quite a while. I used to enjoy visiting the rainforest, but it's been a while since I've been there. Maybe a lot has changed. <sighs> okay, why don't we go there and take a look? Okay, where? Uh, that's the forest I was expecting to sell. Forget about the thesis altogether. Uh, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Knowing me, I'd only be able to forget about it for a little while. Uh, 
But this doesn't count as trying to avoid my problems, does it? Your state of mind is just as important as efficiency if you want to solve the problems that you're facing. That's quite the legitimate excuse. Hmm. Uh, no, it's more of an explanation. <laughs> Even I'm starting to get bolder with my words. I grew up in a place like this. Looking into the distance now with the breeze in my face makes me feel like a kid again. Oh, those were the happiest days. What did you usually do as a kid? Hmm. I had a bunch of friends back then, and we would go pick wild berries in the woods. No matter what ingredients we found, we would cook them over a fire and whoever lost one of our games <laughs> would have to eat all of it. That sounds a little intense. No, it wasn't that bad. It really depended on how lucky you were. Grilled apples and sunsetias are actually quite delicious. Why don't we go find something to grill as well? Uh, sure. I haven't done that in ages. Uh, let's go. Uh, apples and zaytun <laughs> peaches were the most popular fruits back then. Oh, and of course, grilled fish is delicious too. A oh, fish skin releases oils while cooking, which drip into the fire and cause it to burn even brighter. Plum hard fruit. But we would always get yelled at by the grown-ups if they caught us sneaking into the river to catch fish. What's the big deal? We just want to swim. That's what we used to say. But now that I think about it, it really was quite dangerous. Uh, uh, thank goodness nothing bad ever happened. We found enough now, don't you? Uh, three minutes. Juicy, fresh apple. Uh. All right, these should be enough. Ah. <sighs> There's nothing like the smell of fresh ingredients. They already smell delicious. I'll be here cleaning the ingredients. Can you please fetch some firewood for us? Huh. I'll be here washing the ingredients. Can you please fetch some firewood? Time to go. Come on, I think you should serve them for that. Let me scry. Don't be scared. Don't get it. Clouds high. The birds call. Time to go. You make a fire flavor and enjoy the delicious food. Mm, fresh food is the best. I feel like I've traveled back in time. We all used to run around in the woods when we were kids. Trees and mud was the world we knew best. It doesn't matter how long I'm away from the forest, I won't ever forget the feeling of running through the trees. Oh, uh, how about you? Can you relate to that feeling? 
It's almost like not knowing the world will change or ever expecting it to change. I'm afraid not. I'm an adventurer after all. Also, adventurers rarely ever stay in one place. I hope I can experience that feeling one day. Whatever the case, it's a very warm feeling. In the end, I passed the admissions exam, and the life I had led came to an abrupt end. Later, as I sat in a lecture at the academia, my mind started to wander and I began to think about home. It was then that I realized how long it had been since I went back. Ah, uh, I can't go back anymore. And other similar thoughts started to come to mind. Uh, I guess I'm still not used to being in the academia yet. There is a purpose for every stage in life. Ah, uh, you're right. So we should let go of the past. I suppose this is also part of growing up. Hmm. But reminiscing about the carefree life of being a kid sure works wonders for the mind. <sighs> you start missing those moments once you leave them behind. And that's part of moving forward. <sighs> From now on, I'd like to cherish every single day of my life. Even when it's not the smoothest of rides. Everything will get better. I know you can do it. <laughs> uh, I'll take the compliment. A little bit of sugar and a good view really go a long way for relaxation. I thought it'd be impossible for me to enjoy something like this. <sighs> I thought I'd never be able to get my mind off my thesis. But now, I feel like I'm fully enjoying myself. It's really great. So, what are we doing next? Sometimes you don't need a plan. It's nice to just throw around and see what happens. You're right. I've been doing research for so long that I'm used to having a certain routine. A carefree stroll. Huh. I like the sound of that. Oh. I thought we were going to fight that. Why don't we just go for a swim? Uh, huh? A swim? I can't remember the last time I went swimming. I might not even know how to anymore. That's impossible. It's one of those things that you never forget. Um, okay. I'll try to swim over there. Let's see who can get there first. Wait, no, no, no. I'll definitely lose. Hmm. <sighs> No, forget about winning or losing, Layla. It'll be fun either way. Uh, wait, we're starting already? Oh, I could switch to her. Uh... I thought it would stop there. Uh, let's give us some treat. Uh, where's stamina food? That's stamina. I never used stamina food. 
decrease stem consumption, decrease stem consumption, restart stem 60, restart 60. Okay, okay. Ah, uh, we start 80. Okay. I have no idea how much is 80. Okay, that works. Uh, I expected I, I be... lost. How would I be able to beat an adventure at something like this? I think you're a great swimmer. You weren't too far behind. I was worried that you would drop. Uh, really? <laughs> Among my childhood friends, I was considered one of the more athletic ones. But that's just like how I used to think that I had a gift for learning. After coming to Sumeru City, I realized that I only thought that because my hometown is such a small place. On top of that, I'm getting weaker and weaker because I'm barely able to sleep nowadays. There's no way I can bring myself to brag about anything now. You really are too modest. Uh, please, you're always encouraging me. I'm starting to feel embarrassed. But swimming again really feels great. Every muscle in my body was engaged. I probably wouldn't have to worry about my thesis if I turned into a fish, don't you think? Uh, I'm just kidding, of course. I'm sure fish have worries of their own. I'm quite content with how things are right now. Uh, let's keep going, shall we? Mushroom here. You want to jump on it to see what's up there? Uh, I haven't done this in a while. I kind of want to give it a try. Time to go. Time to go. Ah, <sighs> <sighs> we've walked pretty far now, but I barely felt the time passing by. Ah, oh, I've been staring at books in my thesis every day. I've forgotten how nice and happy life actually can be. That's why I said that your life shouldn't completely resolve around your studies. Ah, oh, you're right. No matter how much of a hard time I'm having in academics, I should still find the time to look after myself and fulfill my needs. You really understand more about life than I do. We would like to take the opportunity to release all your stress. Release my stress? Oh, I see what you mean. Being at the top of a mountain really does make someone want to yell out loud. Uh, but it's a little uncivilized, isn't it? It's okay, we're already here, so we should make the best of it. Uh, Alright, I'll give it a try. Just promise not to laugh, okay? Like my entire body is bubbling with excitement after yelling like that. This happiness was so common as a child, but before I knew it, 
This feeling was buried in the bottom of my heart. Ah, oh, it's getting late. Uh, why don't we rest here for a while? Uh, I'll tell you some interesting astrology stuff when the stars come out. Oh, but it's alright if you don't want to listen to that kind of stuff. We can also tell jokes about life, or talk about anything you're interested in. We can chat about whatever you like. Let's say the stuff about stars for when they appear. Whatever you like. Uh, okay, then I'll tell you more about me. The only reason I ever chose to study astrology is because of how beautiful the stars are at night. Uh, that's all. My teacher told me that nature possesses a certain power that grants people an equal amount of kindness and fairness, regardless of the different talents they may possess. And that's why I wanted to call the kind person who's always helping me as the blessing from the stars. <sighs> the stars in the sky are something that brings happiness to people. Yes, they truly are. <sighs> Everything about home is filled with purity and passion. My memories of that place are wonderful. I never want to forget them. If I were to ever discard anything so pure, I don't think I'd ever be able to find a place to anchor myself in the vast sea of knowledge. That's why, no matter how tiring or how hard it gets, I won't let my family down. They are already an important part of me. That's another reason that you lose yourself in the face of pressure. Yeah. Thank goodness you were there to help me out, or I don't know where I would have ended up. <sighs> we probably still have a while until the stars come out. <sighs> Only kids sit around like this, waiting for the stars to appear. Uh, a month made up for spite. I wonder if she's exhausted or if she's finally relaxed. Let's protect this precious moment for just a little a while longer. Okay, and now uh, we got everything here. Okay. Yeah, I don't want to return there, but uh, uh this seems like the return is there, but it didn't really. It's an ID here. Uh there were other things see. I think there might be another other dialogues she has there if we make other questions. For her. Sometimes there are hidden achievements on those hangouts, so. Time to go! Time to go. <laughs> this seems like the best so theoretic. However, uh, that's why I want. Uh, it's okay if your questions. <sighs> All right. Okay. Uh, do you know about the green machine? Okay. 
Ah, so we have different things here. We already got the anis. Uh, hmm? uh, I'm sorry. I haven't been sleeping very well lately. I tend to get dizzy from time to time, but don't worry, I'm fine now. Um. Mm -hmm. What's wrong? I'm waiting for your answer to my question. Oh, sorry. Can you please repeat the question? I didn't hear you clearly just now. I don't think it's an issue of whether or not you heard me. You speak very differently from the Leila, you know? <sighs> all right. I guess the cat's out of the bag. Of all the times to wake up. Uh, you're Layla's friend, right? And from the looks of things, the two of you are preparing for her thesis defense? Uh, yep. Uh, you must be the blessing from the stars. With her long-term sleep deprivation, whenever her anxiety peaks, she loses consciousness and I take over. However, her unpredictable and varying sleep patterns are completely out of my control, so I have to make every second oh, okay. count. Okay, I got it, that There is no one willing to help her here, so I have to step in. I am rather curious about you, though. Why uh, are you trying to help her? At all? Really? That seems like you've given her a boost. Now then. I can't really help her prepare for the thesis defense, so I'll be leaving some notes behind instead. You'll have... Yeah, this kind of the same Okay, dialogue. I should get started on those notes. If there's anything you're curious about, you may go ahead and ask now. I can answer you as I write. Oh, and I have to ask a favor... Hmm... Well... She she might she's a res if her condition grows any she's get mm -hmm. she's my I believe but growth is a process <laughs> that's okay, the okay, kind okay. Of, uh, I'm not going this on the same I got the duplication now but then could we let me see then could we get to this ending. Skipping this part. Mm. Yeah, we can get from here to here, but from here we can get down here again. I think the other one may probably be the same. Although she did mention it, so she did mention the quadruple something orbit. So maybe she will know a bit more about it. Than the other nonsense I asked. This seems like the best spot. So, he theoretic. However, uh, that's why I. W uh, uh, it's okay if your questions are a little. Uh, uh, Alright. Uh, I'm gonna talk about the purple arm shift. Huh? Uh, um, I doubt they'd ask about something so irrelevant. Uh. Uh, the differences are considerable, and the astrological effects are entirely different. We need to consider how the effects offset, and, um... Oh, I'm sorry. I'm not very knowledgeable in that area. Uh, about this question, I am... Um, uh, I'm sorry. I'm not feeling... Okay, they're not the same. Okay, then. I don't think that's all. Uh, um... What's wrong? Yeah, alright then. Oh, sorry. Can you please repeat the question? that's all for today. I didn't hear you cl uh, Alright. Uh, you're Layla's friend, right? Oh, and right. from the looks of I'm things, off. the two of you are preparing for her thesis defense? 